First thing is to select isometric and grid view. Then check snap options. You can change what will snap and what will not. Find what is best option suitable for your style. Let's start simple. We draw a box, a house with nothing. Nothingness is our desire to create evil shadows, no? Just draw a box then. Now we want to draw the parallel lines, but we don't want to mess up our grid. So we use guide. From guide menu, choose line. Use little circles to change the angle of the line based on the angle of the shadow. If it doesn't work, make sure to check rotate is on at the bottom menu. Toggle on and off the snap options to make your life easier. For demonstration, I will use dotted brush for boundaries of the shadow. With the help of blue lines, we can't cross the end of green line. This would be the shadow area for a simple box. The shadow is the result of light rays. To actually draw a shadow, we need two rays of light from each point, creating a surface. The first ray will determine how far the second ray will be. I draw the second rays first just to confuse you. Anyways. Let's make our box a little bit interesting. Here we exercise the same process. Now let's make it even more fun. But that thing is ugly. Just a little bit modification. That is a lot better. Here again, we have the same process, but since the height of the building is not equal on all points, we need those R1 rays to help us.
It doesn't matter where you put them, as long as it crosses the joints on upper edge. We need more blue lines to guide us. Now we can draw the shadow here. If R1 doesn't cross R2, just adjust them. Here is the most exciting part. We want to cast the shadow of this ramp like surface on the ground. We already have our R1 and R2 cross points, so we just draw a straight line from one point to another. For this part, you need to toggle off the snap options. Then from inner menu of you brush, click here. And drag all the way up to 100%. Now you can draw straight lines. The rest is easy. Just follow the guidelines, and you can draw the whole shadow. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you are interested in casting shadows to more complex shapes and buildings, comment down below. I will have a follow-up to this video next week. Thank you for watching.